Hi friends. It's Miss Emily. My son. Maddie. Maddie. And we want to read a book with you today. Actually, we have two books. One is really short. But the first one is called Only One You. Let's read it. There's some fish in this book, and we've had a lot of books about fish and sea animals. It's time, Papa said. I think it is, Mama agreed. Time for what? Adri asked. Papa's voice softened. To share some wisdom. Papa's going to tell Adri some advice, I think. Always be on the lookout for a new friend. Good Papa advice. tells her, find a friend. Look for beauty wherever you are and keep the memory of it with you. What do you see that's beautiful in this picture? Clouds and... Um... An island and fish. You can remember it after you leave. Blend in when you need to. You can be around all these other rocks. And stand out when you have the chance. Hmm. What do you think that means? You can go your own way. You don't have to follow the crowd. Except for at preschool, you should go with the friends. <laughs> right? When you're walking. But you can do different things. Like at choice time. Know when to speak. Can you speak? And know when to listen. And know when to listen. Ears listening. When did we listen at school? During circle time. Yeah, that's right. You mostly listen at circle time, but sometimes you can sing or answer questions. No matter how you look at it, there is so much to discover. What can you discover? I discover all of these beautiful colors in the fish. If you make a wrong turn, circle back. You can do it again. If something gets in your way, what is it? A worm. Somebody's going fishing. You can move around it. Go, 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 go. <gasps> Something's in my way. You can go around it. Good idea. Set aside some quiet time to relax and reflect every day. You can think. You can take a break. What do you do to relax? I might take a break. On the beanbag chair. And think about things. Appreciate art. It's all around you. We have art in our ABC Museum book. I like that book. Make wishes on the stars in the nighttime sky. What do you wish for? Um, if I was a fish, I'd wish for nice food. Mm, I always wish for good food, too. I like to eat. Thank you for listening, Mama said. We hope you will remember. Papa winked and whispered. We know this is a lot for you to think about. Adri did a backward somersault and smiled. Where's Adri? Right there. The small fish. Mama and Papa. 
Oh, it's he. He was excited to go out into the world with what he had just learned. Wait for me, he shouted to his friends. He has a lot of friends. Before he swam away, he turned back to his parents, mom and dad. I will remember. Mama kissed Adrian on the top of his head. There's only one you in this great big world, she said. Make it a better place. Three and... Well, I'm all done that, uh, with that story about Adrian and mom and dad telling some good advice. Good things to remember. But I'm now I'm going to read a really short book called Pikazoo. That's a little rhyming book. Can you see that, Molly? Yep, I can. Here's the room. Pika. Meow. What is it? It's a tiger. The tiger is like a cat. Is a kind of cat. Pika. Kangaroo. That's right. Pika. Cockatoo. What is a cockatoo? It's a bird. Pika. Bamboo. Who's eating the bamboo? The panda. That's right. Have you seen a panda at the zoo? Pika. That was me. <laughs> you see yourself? Yes. It says, please feed the animal. Pika. You too. Oh, there's me. <laughs> there's Maddie. And if you look in a mirror, you can see yourself too. Pikazoo. Next week, we are going to learn more about zoo animals and jungle animals and maybe some savanna animals too. Bye, friends. Thanks for reading with us. See you next.